My name is Ki Wan. And I'm from the United Kingdom. My mom is from Manchester, England and my dad is from Philadelphia, which is in the United States. My dream is to one day, become a police officer. My dad was in the military and was stationed in the United Kingdom, that's where he met my mom. My dad was a military policeman, and my mom was the daughter of a police officer. I believe you know where I'm going with this. Law enforcement runs on both sides of my family. My dad was a well-respected honorable police officer until one day he was hit in the spinal cord by a bullet, causing him to be paralyzed from the waist down. My reason why, for wanting to become a police officer, is to pick up where my dad left off. When it's time for me to wear the badge, I will have the same honor and dignity as my father, following his and my grandfather's legacy as a badge of honor to me. Okay class. Now let's dive into Kiwan's story. The topic of today's lesson is legacy. Can anyone explain what that is? A traditional historical story. No, Shauna. What you just explained was a legend. Dominic, can you tell us? To be merciful or tolerant when one gets in trouble. Not quite, Dominic. What you just explained was the word lenience. Okay, Chica, it's your turn. Let's see what you got. To live a long life. You just explained to us what longevity is, but that is not what a legacy is. A legacy is when you have something that is passed down to you from the past generations. Now let's think about it like this. You have arms, a upper torso, and a head. Now what is it that is carrying those body parts? Your legs? Correct. Notice how the word leg is in the word legacy. Think of the rest of the body as being your past generations. And the leg is what's carrying that. Also, notice how Kiwan said that his grandfather and his father were police officers, and his dream is to be a police officer as well. His grandfather sits at the head, his father is at the torso, and Kiwan is now coming in at the legs. Jumping Jaspers, I get it now. J jumping who? It's like a pyramid. My father and grandfather are working their way to the top and I'm starting from the legs where they once started off at. Correct again. That means that you're next to carry your family's legacy. My father is paralyzed from the waist down. So that means that I will be his legs and carry our legacy. Now that's a great way to look at it, Kiwan. Uncle Steve, I hated being in this class until now. Thank you for the loads of information in this lesson. You're very welcome, Kiwan. Sister Kima, what would you like to add? I just want to say that you're going to make a wonderful police officer. You have your grandfather and father guiding you. I'm sure they have tons of stories and experiences to share with you. Instead of saying one day you'll be a police officer, see yourself as a police officer right now. For now on myself, Uncle Steven and the rest of the class will refer to you as Officer K1. Thank you, Auntie Kima. Now that concludes our lesson for today. In the next class, we're going to go over Shauna's story. See you tomorrow, and there will be no homework for today. The legacy from your past generations was left for you. It's your time to carry your family's legacy. Now ask yourself, how do you want your family to be remembered? You have the power to make that decision because you are at the legs, and the past generations is now being navigated by you. If you have a story or an idea of how you're going to carry your family's legacy, please tell us in the comments section we would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next class. Bye for now.